Okay. Thank you. Welcome to the program. Good afternoon, good evening, good night, good morning to some of you according to your location on the face of this planet Earth. We welcome you all to our today's broadcast right here from our homeland Radio Biafra, here in Biafra land, where I am broadcasting from. Thank you. You are highly welcome. Thank you. I remain the fearless IPB evangelist, Maze Madam Chimwachuku. I am from Ndiabo. Ndiabo is now Nairi. And there is a local government in Ojiriba province, Biafra land. I am a homeland broadcaster under IPOB. Our leader is Mazen Amdekan. He is still in DSS custody. Undergoing torture, he is illegally detained. Nigeria is always so in the case of Amdekan. From 2015 to today, they have never obeyed any single court order. Any court order concerning Mazen Amdekan, no one has been obeyed and we will continue to hammer it. It, don't matter, it doesn't matter how the enemies are getting angry. We are not even getting tired. The only thing we have is in Amdekan. They have taken all that belongs to us. That is the last thing that Chukwu Abiyama gave to us. And he gave us the understanding to know that this is the man. Had we overlooked Namdekan, have we left him? God will punish us. That is why we are blessed. That is why we remain blessed because God opened our eyes to know that this is the last answer to our prayer, Namdekan. Have we not rallied around him and we left him alone? We, had, had it been we leave Namdekan alone? We are gone as a people. And we are giving God glory for opening our eyes. We still call him to open the eyes of others. The only thing left for us is in Namdekan. Namdekan is irreplaceable. Namdekan, that is what we are telling the world. Don't say that um, if something happened to Namdekan, there is something you will use to entice us. Entice us, you will use it to make us happy. So you will write it and give to the governor, they will read it out. You are a fool. The person must be mad. Namdekan has no replacement. There is nothing you can change it with, uh, change him with. There is nothing you can show. Even the Biafra, we don't need it to. When we know that Namdekan did not commit offense, he didn't, he was not fighting in the uh, shooting gun and the, unfortunately, the bullet got him. No, he was the kidnapped and the, on the process, the government that kidnapped him and gave him allegation of terrorism, their courts freed in Namdekan. So anything that happened to Namdekan, that one is intentional act. It is not somebody that uh, had problem in detention. No, he had been freed. He's, he's now in illegal detention. So he didn't, if anything happened to him, it didn't happen to him in battlefield. He had defeated his battle. He had defeated Nigeria. They are the people that kidnapped Namdekan. They are the ones that prepared the charges. They are the people that have been taking him to court. They are the one people that are keeping him. The court belongs to them. They own the court. They own the judges. They have the prosecutor. They have everything. Even the, our lawyers, they are Nigerian lawyers. So what are we saying? What are we saying? That in Namdekan, uh, you have something you will give to somebody uh, to replace Namdekan eventually. Maybe you are mad. You are very, very mad. You need to be reminded in asylum. Please, yeah, they remind you in asylum. Not even taking you to Psychia. Go to asylum. That's where they remind you because you are a fool. After this very tape, then we'll pray. We'll continue. One thing I've noticed that you might be here is that no one does seem to have, I might always call it obsession about the Ebos. Could you perhaps explain that to me? Well, the Ebos are more or less the type of people whose desire is mainly to dominate everybody. If they go to a village, 
to a town they want to monopolize everything in that area. If you put them in a labor camp as a labor organizer, they will try to emerge as headman of that camp and so on. Well, in, in the past, our people were not alive to their responsibilities because you can see from our modernization policy that in 1952, when I came here, there weren't 10 northerners in our civil service here. Then I tried to have it northernized, and now all, all important posts are being held by northerners. Is this policy of filling all key posts in the north solely with northerners and not with other Nigerians a temporary or permanent one? In actual fact, what it is is a northerner first. If you can't get a northerner, then we take an expatriate like yourself on contract. If we can't, then we can employ another Nigerian, but on contract too. This is going to be permanent, I should say, for the, as far as I can foresee, because it would be rather dangerous to see the number of boys who are now turning from our, all our learning institutions coming out with having no, no work to do. I'm sure whichever government uh, would they might be, it will uh, feel rather embarrassed and it might even lead to bloodshed. Doesn't this damage the idea, sir, of uh, all people in all regions in, in Nigeria being fair citizens of one country? Well, it might, but uh, um, you know, I mean, look to our region, but how many northerners are employed in the east or in the west? The answer is no. And if there are, there may be 10 laborers employed only in the two regions. And because of um, our back and forth presidency, where are they today? They are still the worst guy in that place and okay. So you think as a as a legal man, if you're there for eight years somehow, you're not going to be telling me that you don't sit right and kill you. Use your brain. It was meant to be Alex and Kweme, a person that is very comfortable with the government. That's the difference. So if you don't know this, why don't I allow a legal man to become the president of the country? So if you need to receive. Thank you. Let us pray. Thank you, Zubu. Thank you, Zemir. Chineke mbochi o mema. Ekele drege mako bacheta. Imela maka IPOB. Imela maka namdekan. Imela maka ndi biafra. Imela maka ndi ira anye poliri. Kaha wure na alusta anye wako. Imela nihi ndi aini ni iche wure ndo. Imela chineke. Nare kele. Nare otutu. Nare ojitamu. Nare ambulielu. Nihi nebochi. Na hage. Chi. Uku. Ukike. Abia, Amara, Oro, Ime, Ihenile, we have prayed. He said, He said, He said, Thank you. Umo I am coming live from this um, small page. I don't know what Facebook is doing on the other one, but we must continue to propagate the very gospel of truth, gospel of honor, gospel of redemption, gospel of total freedom. They didn't take us, um, they, they are not seeing us as part of the country, and our people are trying their best to sustain the very um, political, what is it called, structure that they placed us on or in. It is not a structure that will ever favor us. None. Imagine senior president. They didn't allow us to manage senior president for years, a tenor. They didn't. What you have been we are hearing was impeachment, impeachment from Evans and impeachment, Adolphus Mwabarabia, impeachment, um Chubaka di Banamba, impeachment, Evans was him. Um, what is the next? Pio Sanim. Impeachment. The next one was Kevin Naman. From five states, a senior president that one person should handle for four years. They are going there some five months, some six months, some eight months. And that is what makes make us Nigerian. They remove our rail lines. We know that this rail line was a was means of people's transportation, even when our late traditional ruler was alive. 1970s, 80s, people use rail, a uh, train to come to our place, to Ndiabo, for operation. When um, Lady Eze, Igwe Albatu, Mezriki, Benwa, 
is about fifth of Ndabo when he was alive. Go and ask people from Uzuakoli, Isukwato, Igbocha, which is what I call Omaanya. All those places. Go and ask, go and ask other people, both Okibwe. That's where you go for operation. Where do they come from? Through rail lines, railway, uh, through train. But today they remove it. Nobody is talking. Nobody is saying anything. And I don't know. I don't know what is the problem of Facebook. I don't know what is the problem. I don't know what the problem of Facebook. I love my brokers. I don't know. We must continue. They can never shut us down. Uh, shut us up. No. You can only shut a program down. You don't shut us up. We move. When I am saying the truth, the best, the next step is to attack my program. So I will start singing for our enemies. So I will start to broadcasting without touching history. For what? Am I a fool? I'm a Biafra, a freedom fighter. We deal with the history. We are historically updated. We continue. The topic, the, that topic I wrote there is a problem to, to Facebook. The topic. And I am going into it now. We have prayed. Then, let us go. Aburi Accord Agreement. Who disobeyed it? Is it number one? Then we continue. UN order for freedom of the camp, June 2022. Who disobeyed it? Nigerian government. A big court ruling. Deciding on the camp unconditional F and acquitted him. Who disobeyed the order? Nigerian government. Umar had Federal High Court ruling. October 2022. Who disobeyed the order? Nigerian government. How come you say Ojuku started the war? Do you see how useless Nigerians are? It is always Nigeria. It is always Nigeria. We are the most peaceful people. You can see tomorrow somebody will write, IPOB started the war. And now they cannot start the war. We are counting it. Ask yourself what our fathers passed through and what we are passing through now. Which is the worst? Who disobeyed Aburi Accord Agreement? Nigerian government. Who said that Oduku started the war? Nigerian government. Who shot the first gunshot in Ogoja? Nigerian government. Now who started the war? No, you will wait for Tinubu newspaper nations to write it for you. Go and wait for Tinubu newspaper to tell you who started. Somebody shot the first gunshot in Ogoja, in our land. They disobeyed the, the Aburi Accord Agreement. Gowan refused to come to ECOWAS call. How many meetings? Presidents of Africa, Ojuku went. Gowan refused to go. Presently, who disobey UN order on free Nam the can the same Nigerian government? Who disobeyed Nigerian Abi Court order for free Nam the can the same Nigerian government? Who disobeyed their own Federal High Court order? For free Nam the Kano, the same Nigerian government. Now, who is now the problem? Do you see what we are saying? Do you now understand what we are saying? From this now, are we Nigerians? No. Then, why do you try to force us into Nigeria? Do you now see the importance of the freedom? Only the freedom is what somebody can use to challenge us. If it's for all these things we are saying, 
we have been justified by Nigerian courts. It is the same Nigerian court that said that Tenamdekan did not jump in. It is the same Nigerian chief judge, former chief judge, Onehen, that ruled in Abuja court that IPOB is not a terrorist organization. But if you see some Fulani idiots and some uh, Yoruba media, stupid um, um, brown enveloped medias, hey, now they cannot jump in. They forgot that their chief judge, the former chief judge, Onehen, ruled in 2019 that IPOB is not a terrorist organization. If you ask them, they say they went to school because you can speak English. And that is the school you went to when you don't have brain. Your government keep on disobeying court orders. They keep on disobeying court orders. And they, when we run out of patience, You'll be looking for what you will write. And that time you'll be writing, we'll be writing. While we are writing, we'll be fighting. There will be no breathing space. We are counting it. Tell us the people that can endure what we are doing. Upon these things we are passing through, they resorted in sending Fulani to come and kill us and take over our land. They seized all our wealth. God give him wealth. They are still, they still make a point. They impose leaders. They now send Fulani to kill us and take our land in the name of Catholic. And we launch ESN. All of their body got fire. But it is good for Fulani to come and kill us. And the car will occupy our land. It is good for the Northerners to be threatening us with their useless food. Because they have plotted cows to and the full and terrorists to make sure we didn't go to farm. Had we not launched ESL, how can we be going to farm? These are efforts. Every time disobedient, every time disobedient, anything concerning us, they, they must disobey. And you say we are part of the country. The same constitution that instituted appeal court. Federal High Court, State High Court. Is the constitution that um, also the that uh, what is it called? That the Electoral Act, that is the same the Electoral Act is in the same constitution of Nigeria. Then you held your election under the constitution. But uh, there are courts you established under the constitution. They gave order you don't obey. That is to say, when an attorney general appointee, not even elected, an appointee, that a senator is greater than, appointee, just that you are in charge of, um, what is it called? You are attorney general in the state, they have attorney general of the state, commissioner for justice, um, DPP chairman. Commissioner for justice, you are only the attorney general of the federation, minister of justice. We have senators, lawmakers, when they make laws, you now disobey. You that was dis was appointed. Senators elected. Then you disobey, you say you are attorney general. And tomorrow somebody will say Ojuku fight war. Ojuku started war. But you went to Ghana in the presence of General Ankara of Ghana. After the meeting, Ankara brought the hand, um, okay, Ojuku brought the hand of, um, um, what is it called? Ankara and put it, then brought the one of Jack, Jack Gowan, put it on top of Ankara, then brought his own and put it and say, and promise Ankara that if they go back to Nigeria and all these things is being implemented, that him, he, Ojuku, will come back with the Gowan, back to him, Ankara, and Ankara will be, will make Gowan the official, official president of Nigeria. That was the promise. Ankara escorted them to Lagos in the same plane. After all, you disobey. The next one was a gunshot in, the Oju, in Ogoda. Ojuku answered all the calls by African presidents. Gowan never come. It was the other last one that they sent Awolowo. Awolowo came there instead of going into the issue 
Awolo won that to juku free from Taraba prison. What Awolo won went there to say is that the genocide going on in our land was a, is a Nigerian internal issue. The same Awolo won that in Zogo led Yorubas in a queue to um for a queue, yes, in a queue 1966, so that Awolo will be made president of Nigeria. After everything they say is Iboku. Where did Zogo came from? Anioma. Where is Anioma? Biafra. They say no, it's South South. It is Niger Delta. But when you want to target Igbo law, Igbo Q, you will say Nzogo can it, uh, on a lady Q. But when we say that Nzogo is a Biafra, they say no, Anioma is a South South. Do you see how hypocritical they are? We know why we are counting it because. We have been, we, they never accepted us here. What they carried on here was genocide. In a war, you will defeat the army and they conquer the people. But in a genocide, you will bombard DP, uh, DP uh, what is it called? IDP camp. You will bombard church. They bombard markets. They bombard schools. It wasn't war. It was genocide. There was a land and sea blockade. Did you understand? Thank you. So it wasn't war, it was a genocide. Very well planned. Global, that is, uh, uh, what is it called? Global conspiracy against the people of Biafra. And today it is raging again. And people are dancing. If we say Biafra, they will look for what to tell us, as if we will run away. That thing that happened before, it will happen again. Because the crimes of Nigeria against the people of Biafra is worse now than before. But why IPOB is enduring, persevering this, is because they said that our fathers caused the war. Therefore, we have to persevere in order to vindicate our fathers, to make sure that we prove to the world that our fathers wasn't the problem. Because that very record must be, we must set that record clear. Make it straight. We cannot just come up and start war. No, they will say that's how their father started. Excuse me. They will say that is how their father started. That's how their father caused the war. But we didn't cause the war. And this time around, through IPOB, the world can see that our fathers didn't cause the war. During the election, they asked us not to vote. The other election, they said they would throw us into the lagoon. Abiola contested in 1993. Tofa contested. None of them was his Igbo man, or was an Igbo man, or a Biafra. But we were the victim of Abiola. This time around, the four people we started, I ask you, I ask them, do you know that they will kill us after the election? Whether you win or you didn't win. They will kill us, we will fall victim, we are always the victim. I print this message for over one week. I said, we are always the victim. How, when did they start loving you? When did the Yoruba start loving you? Hey, Yoruba, they are supporting P2B. I said, the support to P2B is their um, is a direct attack to Namdi Khan. But they have tried destroying Khan no way. So they choose me to be as a weapon. If you see them chanting, hey, obedient, chanting, I help you, I help you. you think that both evil people, you think that they love P to be sincerely Muslim. No, their target is that only P to be being a, uh, a president can stop IPOB without knowing that now Okwa Baramawo will leave to Kabare. Okwa Baramawo will leave to Kabare. Do you understand? You become president, that is the worst. That is when you will see greater agitation. You lose election, that is the worst. Anyone you do is okay. You announce Tinubu, that you, you are you are even promoting us. You announce Atiku, fine. Anyone you call president, we are okay. 
When Buhari was coming, he said Buhari will stop us. But we stopped Buhari in 2017. He died, isn't it? If Buhari is alive, why didn't Malami add it in the charges against Nnamdi Khan? So you will be, you are alive, and the man who say you are dead is here. You cannot put it in the charges. You were there writing rubbish. That means the president is dead. So the image of the president can be tarnished like that. The president will endure it. And he will be busy preparing charges of answers. Uh, unknown gunmen against an American, the man who said you molested Aisha at the age of nine years, you raped Aisha at the age of 13 years. So you cannot add these things in the charges. You cannot add the allegation that Buhari is dead in the charges. Because all of you know that Buhari is dead. Then we are proud to say that Buhari is dead. Because the government could not be able to challenge it. Nigerian citizens were cowardice, they cannot, they are coward. They cannot confront their government and say, this man is here now. Put it in the charges. No, because they knew that the Namdekanu said, if discovered that Buhari is alive, I will surrender Biafra. Then I will surrender myself for life jail. So they all knew that Buhari is late. Did you understand? So they cannot campaign for their government to challenge Namdekanu. What they took on was a PVC. Hey, BBC, hey, your president, Igbo presidents, these people are very, very wicked. The Yoruba man that chanted P2B, that the people killing us in Lagos, don't say it's BAPC, it's a lie. In their mind, they naturally hate us. Only few of them have genuine heart. These are people we are feeding in Lagos, hungry people. We feed, without us, they cannot eat. There are people that are selling market in Lagos. They pack their goods in our shops. They pack it in a mecca shop, Chuku the shop. All those their shoe, all those orange. They, they pack it. And they don't have shop. They, do they have money to pay for rent? Can you your me and do you have money to pay for shop rent? In the evening you pack it and pack it in Ibo man shop. Tomorrow your your criminal brother will come and uh, destroy, set our shop ablaze. And they don't know that the property, their goods of their own are also involved, as foolish as they are. We are the key for Yoruba survival. These are lazy people. They, they, they can they get what they will eat. People that did abandon property. Excuse me. So that is it. We know what we are doing, and we will continue to say it that our people are not accepted in Nigeria. And Nigeria has been looking for a problem. How can people see what they are supposed to do? Now, they say they want to hand over. A president is going out. Isn't it? A dead president. Now, Nigerians are happy that their president is called imposter. Then, if they are not cowards, they claim to went to, to, they went to school. Just like all these idiots, like a Faneka, a fool. Somebody said that your president is dead. And all of you are killing people for politics with under that allegation. None of you can challenge the president and say, prove yourself before you hand over. Nigerians, now the regulation, I reminded you, I said, the only place that can shake them is when you protest and say, President, go and prove yourself. Now I'm the is here. Make sure you clear the image of Nigeria. Make it straight. Now that you are still in office, so that when you leave office, then the image of Nigeria will be pure. Now they can give an allegation that an imposter is ruling Nigeria. Then how can you leave office without clearing that image? Because they are cowards. 
Their target in voting was only on Anamdekano. That's all. To stop IPOB. They have nothing good in mind. That was the new Nigeria they were talking. To stop agitation. If they vote P2B, we knew them. I don't know the people writing rubbish on media about Yoruba, telling you where they will claim. Do you think that APC is not APC? It is a Yoruba issue. Yoruba issue. People that have some five percent of Muslims conquered by flood. Conquered by flood. Lazy people. Their father Wolowo was a thief. He gave birth to thieves. He trained them into thievery. Somebody that claimed the whole money of a whole people and gave them 20 pounds. He's a thief. I wonder what he's a, a, a bona fide criminal. Giving our father 20 pounds out of our money. They took our companies. They claim everything that belongs to us. Did you understand? And that is what you are saying. We are not part of Nigeria. We are not. After the war, they said rehabilitation, reconstruction, reconciliation. None was implemented. What was implemented was to take our money and give us 20 pounds. The only brain of a Yoruba man that they can bring out is how to seize the properties of people they block A and land and C to, for all of them to die. But the few that survived, you seize their wealth. We didn't even ask you for the people you killed. Those that are alive went to collect their money. What about the people you killed? Did you give them even 10 pounds? No. You ate all. You went to Yoruba, you become king. From the money you stole from a particular people. Not the money you stole from government. Money I always stole from Biafras. He took the position that Biafras was in companies and gave it to Yoruba. Today they are managing director. They created way for oil theft for Yoruba. They thief our oils. Today they are multi billionaires. They have company. A Yoruba man. Quit business do you do to get money? If not fraud, the next one will be drug like Tinubu. If not fraud, what else do you do? The next one will be targeting Ibu. That is what we are saying. I wonder what was a thief. So any Yoruba man eyeing Ibu property is also a thief. A lineage of Awolowo. People that have grandfather or a thief. Thief was their grandfather. That they are making might of. Somebody that stole the, the, the money that belongs to the people. You come back and say, well, I will, I will. so he stole our money, he came back to favor you. We fought victim two times in his hand. We freed him for him to be free. He went out and betrayed the Jew. Nzogo himself was the one who championed a, 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 who led the queue to make Awolowo, the same Awolowo president. At the end, Awolowo was the champion to starve us to death. Awolowo. That's why we are telling our people in Lagos. If you know history, you will not listen to any Igbo leader. That is Samuel Lutinubu and all the rest of the Yoruba thieves not the good one or like a pa you are the All those Yoruba thief, Falika Yode, the chameleon, that his father sabotaged Awolowo. That Falika Yode, they are now arranging evil, stupid, they say elders. You heard the other one, they said evil uh, union, they want to meet with Samuelu. That is the worst mistake you will do. If you allow one stupid fool, anybody that said they represent you, sue them to court. Our people in Lagos, anybody, anything you hear news and they say, so 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 Igbo group represent you in a meeting with a piece or with someone, you know that those people are behind the attack. Sue them to court. Find your way home, back home. Find your way back home. 
Through Awolowo, Telenam, they never love you. Don't allow anybody to use Ohaneze. Ohaneze, no property of the Ohaneze was destroyed. Don't allow them to use Igbo leader in Lagos. Don't, don't use anything Igbo. Don't use anything Igbo, Igbo, unless you brought yourself as market union, traders union. You know the pains you are passing through. Not few idiots appointed as an Igbo in Lagos, appointed Igbo union. Igbo is a lie. If you, the only thing you can form now is a central body of all Igbo businessmen in Lagos. So that through the markets, you all channel them, you communicate everything, you plan together how to build your home. If you allow yourself to be used with all these faceless groups, you are gone. You are gone, they will collect money. Their agents will call your market chairman. They will give them few promises. And they will call you for a meet and start telling you, we are, we are negotiating, we are negotiating. Don't listen to any fool. Do you know why they are foolish? They don't have independent radio. Where you can communicate. They are not freed. The only people that can lead you now is IPO. We don't ask you to join IPO. No. I can think about how we infiltrate. I told I say by you can support ESN, support it. You can support ESN. But what we are saying is for you to understand what we are saying. I know about how we infiltrate. Come here, you have any little animals. I have a few. But for you, I'm not wrong. You don't want to be normal in King Game. I can't even make you up. IPOB have radio. They have TV. They have a body that have nothing to do with Nigerian politics. We cannot be controlled. We have security outfits. Did you understand? We have the masses. We have a radio where you can call and lay your complaint. You can't say it in Nigerian radio. If you call, they will tell you this is not what you are saying. That is why we are the only defense you can acknowledge. We have legal team. We have it all. Ohanese are political. Igbo, Ezendibo, every Ezendibo are political. Don't have a you have a in your community, a community. You now go to Lagos, you have a in Lagos. It is equivalent to a mayor that we are avoiding here. A whole Lagos, you have a Zendibo in Lagos. And you are clapping for a, a very political slave. When they give him money, he will say something. They say, Zendibo in Lagos said, You that don't even know him, he will speak on your behalf. Don't allow, I don't say he's evil, or that they are political. They are not freed. None of them is freed. Though they can wear big clothes, drive big car, speak, hand over microphone, they are not freed. They can be controlled. Just like Igbo man going to Yoruba church. He's a liar, and the pastor will control you. That's what our leader said. He said, if you are going to Yoruba church, any day we say we want to go to war, or we want to go, he will go and preach to you. But if you are going to Igbo church, they will encourage you that the time has set. Or Biafra church, if you be a man, they will understand easily. The Yoruba man will keep drawing you. He can, even when the danger is there, a Yoruba pastor, they will keep trying to give, tell you reason why God is one. Why knowing, without knowing, they cannot tell you that, that Ishmael and Isaac must be separated. Because they cannot live together. No. They will tell you how Jesus came and died for our sin. For all of us. They will not tell you that uh, Ishmael. Separate Ishmael from Isaac. They will not tell you. They will not tell you that Abraham told the Lord to choose one side. Let him choose one side. They will not tell you. The Yoruba pastor will not tell you. Did you understand? In your local government, you know how many traditional rulers there. All the autonomous communities that make up your local government, they have traditional rulers. How many are they? Now you come to your state in Biafra land, how many traditional rulers? 
Then you go to Lagos, one person will say he's the Igbo king. Then you are not ashamed. If it is so, you have Igbo traditional you know, you like no no dear papa. You have Igbo traditional like in Amwa or Dauphin. You have Igbo traditional like in uh, everywhere. We know you have Igbo traditional. Not to SND but in Lagos, like Oba and Demia. And that is Fudilism, feudal system. Avoid such rubbish. Organize yourself through market strength. Have your overall center, that is general, chairman. If you want to, that is where you can consult Igbo, where the Igbo men. You want to come and build in Biafra land, through your general chairman overall for market Igbo marketers in Lagos, you will communicate in us. You don't start com sorry, you communicate um, Ibeto. You don't start communicating Ibeto through chairman Alaba, chairman uh, 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 what is it called? Trade fair, chairman this. No, it is all these chairman that will gather together with the general overall in Lagos. They will discuss and say. We need this means because of the structures. Then you communicate a bit. Then if you want for other cements, you can through there you communicate the other company and say, do this for us. You meet a bit, your man won't get it developed. Or money you get money on the Because he were a general chairman, not to go in individual. And they all through that source called Awasina, Igbo traders in Lagos, Kuroko. Not Igbo traders in uh, Trinity, Hakuo, but Igbo traders. Igbo traders in uh, Airport Road, Kuroko, but Igbo traders. Ndike, Ndike, um, Ocean, Kuroko, but Igbo traders. Ndike, Ladi, but Kuroko, but Igbo. Igbo traders, Ige, went overall market, chairman, overall, if you want to have something that will be overall, not Igbo leader. Not to Ohanese, not to SND, but no, for that market trade, they will cover every other thing. And these are the best source to communicate IPM, if you can arrange that, that. through the, the all the market, they will hold that, um, they will hold that um, election. Each market may send 10, 10 people in all the markets we are in Lagos, not line, no. Markets, you know, all the market have lines. We mean markets. They will go and conduct the election so that there will be no much population where you are doing the election. Did you understand? Thank you. That is what we are telling our people. Share the program. You know, uh, the page is uh, small. Share it. The program will not be long. Just to be reminding them about free name the country, that is the key. From there, we'll keep explaining where the problem is from. We are not the problem. Nigeria is the problem. We are not the problem. But they will always try to channel it on us. They are killing us. They say we are claiming Lagos to cover up. People, you deny their a franchise. You deny them all their right to vote. You are killing them. You brought gun to shoot them. You shot them. You turn around, you say they are claiming Lagos. Then tomorrow somebody will say they meet with someone that is discussing peace and uh, safety of Igbos. Is it today you started discussing it? During Boba Marowa, who, who destroy our things? When Buba Marowa was there, Colonel Buba Marowa, or Lieutenant Colonel Buba Marowa, the then governor of military administrator of Lagos State, when Adesa was the worst housing minister, did even army, they demolish. Adesa demolish our shop. Number seven, the local street to load up Lagos. Dele, sorry, Dele Bakari. That's Dele Bakari, not numbers. Dele Bakari. That's Motos Piapas. Who demolish it? 
Major General Brikani Madison was a housing minister of Nigeria, where his minister is working is in Lagos. Because he's a Yoruba man. That's where his minister was active. He demolished our shop in Cook. He demolished in what, what is it called? Airport Road. Did you understand? There is another one side Okoko side. Coca. I've mentioned Coca, that side. He demolished Coca. Anywhere we are, he started demolition. But he's a minister of uh, works, the whole Nigeria. He didn't go to any other place. He just come to Yoruba land to be demolition. Did you understand? I we fall victim. I was one of the victims. I was too small at that time with the, one of our brothers. We live in Lagos. That's how we, we became poor. They demolish everything. It didn't start today. So we need to go back home. Plan our way back home. Anything you are doing now, you know it is temporary. You leave the Lagos for them, you leave the shop for them, you leave the house. They cannot live in it. How many are they? What will they be eating? Do they have anything to eat? Hungry people. Lazy people. You leave Lagos, they will be dying. Your rebirth will be dying one by one with, out of hunger. What are they doing? How many buildings do they have there? So you just come and live in Igbo house without food. Nonsense. How many businesses are you in control of? How many businesses in Lagos are you in control of? Then how do you feed yourself? Lazy tribe. How do you eat? When we, some few of us travel home from Lagos, Lagos will be empty. And you don't make, you don't, no lesson for you that time. No, you don't study anything. Because you are, you are a fool. Few of us will travel home for Christmas. Lagos will be empty. Imagine when all of us leave Lagos. How do you manage? Some of you don't see where to buy things when we travel home in December. Three of us. Because the shop you used to buy something in the maker shop. It's a woman shop. What do you sell? You sell Minara. Isn't it? And what the bread? What do you have? If we travel home, how does Lagos look like? Hey, I'm going to leave Lagos. I say, will you be eating house? I'm going to collect a claim. Come, you go there, you chop shop. Do you have anything? Show me a business you're about to control in Lagos. Show me. Show me. Ibo man is protecting you. You are doing your that your rubbish. You are looking at a financial a fool that his father has betrayed a woman. A fool. I will not your father that you are following. He's a thief. He stole our money and gave us 20 pounds. And you yourself, you are targeting our property. You are a cost generation. Cost. You took our money, gave us 20 pounds. We never get, we are not poor. We survive with it. And you don't listen. How do Lagos look like? How does Ibadan look like? How does all those your town look like? When we travel home. Then where are the Yorubas that owns the Yoruba land? Where are you? But Igbo land is filled with human beings already. Igbo, the whole Biafra land is complete, not with the strangers, the owners of the land. We are the people occupying our land and we are occupying your place. If we leave your place, it will not affect us. If we leave our place, if our people call it come back to your home, it doesn't affect us. We occupy whom? We occupy abroad. Where do you occupy? All this you are right here, carrying uh, draw this uh, uh, this they are fake fake medicine. They put kai kai and the water. Is that not what your women are carrying here? Do they have handwork? How many Yorubas are working here? If not those that um, that uh, came with Yoruba companies here. Uh, those are working anything in Nigeria. That is where you see Yoruba here. Do you have company here? 
can be going to occupy the gas, you both should leave. I, I say, look at you. How many vet motors do your man have? All those transport motors. How many bus do your man have? How many? Do you have bus? How many of you are into transportation? How many Yorubas? All those buses belong to Igbo, Bia France. How many Yorubas have transport motor in Lagos and Achichon? Now Igbo shall live. Who have been importing? We are the importers. Who dash your Yoruba beggars? Lazy people. Who dash the money? Bia France. Do you have anything to dash to your people that are begging? Do you have anything? Have you eaten somebody that will be sitting in, in her shop or his shop? Cover his, be on pole. Going to the toilet inside the shop. A Yoruba, a Yoruba fool. Going to the toilet, he carry his baba, he can cover it. These are the people that will see women and come and challenge. People that shit inside their house, inside their shop. Mongo. Uh, uh, what do you want by kilo 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 fera? Oh, you took really lunch. Foolish people, you be sitting on a on sheet. You be responding to me in your shop. Do you think we can do it in our in our place? These are people telling us to uh, to leave their land as if they have. Do you have a house in Lagos? How many house do you have? Do you have shop? Can you pay for have shop rent? You pack your goods inside the chuku the shop. You make a shop. You find a shop. Hey, brother, make a. It don't close. Hey, make a pack my thing. Make a pack a. Mad people. We travel home. Your place will be empty. The place our people are coming back to uh, is already filled with human beings. Have you ever come to Biafra land? You see, there it become empty. The Northerners that are here, they have a place where they are. They don't rent a house. Why our own is dangerous is that we live everywhere with you. When we leave, people will know that we leave your place. If the Northerners go on their, the Muslim go on their, what is it called? Salah. It doesn't concern us. All our businesses in their will be functioning. The, we are only the, the only people that can shake a town. No other people can say we don't go to market and then you anywhere will shake. Apart from their friends, we own every city. We travel home, some Yoruba suffer to go and buy something in store. How many stores do you have? All the stores are out. How many bus do you see in Lagos when we travel home? They pack it because it was their egos. They are their friends. They are the owners of transport motors. Go to boss, go to them for anyone, more anyone. We are the owners. Your own is to be doing party. After doing party, eating your money, you'll be eyeing the woman. Hey, I'm not evil. Your, your brother, you get, you know, get. Now your brother get this thing, he get one, get one he get for another. He got. Now we tell, now, now we say make you no build. Upon say your papa, I will not stole our money. Why you no build? That money why Wolo was still. Why did the thing not develop your Lagos? Naibo is called the developer. Because you are cost. Through Awolo because you welcome the development. You are cost. You can never do well more than us. You can never. Your Uba can never do well more than us. It doesn't, even if God comes to live in your land, you can never, because we own God already. All of you are looking for God. God will live in our place already. That's why Yoruba pastors, they need us in their church because we have God. We serve the living God naturally. We are the people that have the mind of God, mind, human being. Dear friends, we can dash beggars. You can convince us if you mention God. Anything God will convince us. So God is living in us. At times he say, hey, we are foolish. No, it's because of God is living in us. The Spirit of God. Then people can do us anyhow in the name of God. 
They can, you can do, you can, with your fraud, you, a fraudster can even take everything that we have in the name of God. Just because we believe in God. More than even other people. You, you can't meet other people and just cheat them like that with the name of God. And we love it because we love God. So, Yoruba man cannot teach me God. He cannot call God for me. God is living in Biafra already. When you come to their church, you are giving them blessing. Those beggars at the front of the church, who dash the money? Don't you see Yoruba person? Do they give their beggars money? Go to, to the Northerners. All those Fulani beggars, you know, they love to beg. Who dash the money? Biafra. Even them, they don't dash their own people that are begging. Go, go, those in Lagos, how many, does Yoruba dash their people something? They want to destroy their land and we will help them to destroy it. IPOB have come into the matter. Our people will return back home. They will return back home. Facebook, you wait on. Hold the program, deny people access to watch. I was say, you cannot hold my, you can't. You can't hold my tongue. You cannot. You are Facebook. You are in charge of your Facebook, not in charge of my brain. Did you understand? Share the program or share it. Share the program. Facebook will disagree from the other page. Thank you. So we'll continue to propagate this gospel. I ain't gonna be here. Nothing stops us. We will continue to do the good things. We will continue to fight our enemies. And we will continue to abide under the commands of IPOB. We will continue to confront our wars. We don't run away from any battle. And we are winning already. The enemies are crying. The fight is powerful because they are ignorance of this method. They believe in shooting. We say, okay, you want us to shoot first so that you, you tell the world that this is how their father did. This is how their father did. That's why they started shooting again. We say, no, we will endure. Let us endure so that the world will know that our father did not fight, did not um, cause war. Today, the world has seen it. They disobey Abuja Accord Agreement. They also, in this time, they disobey their court orders. From 2015 to today, no court order. On the issue of Nam de Kano, no court order has been obeyed. From Justice Ademola, John Sobo, Bill Tanya Kobel, a UN order, a P court order, Federal High Court on Wire order. None have been obeyed. How many lion will in Nam de Kano kill before you call him the killer of lion? Or the Wagoni? Who owns this court, Nigeria? Who kidnapped Namkan in Nigeria? Who owns the prosecutor, Nigeria? Who prepared the charges, Nigeria? Who appointed the judges, Nigeria? Who is the learning Namkan in Nigeria? Why is he defeating you in your court? You cannot obey. Why are you keeping him there? For what? Because all of you are foolish. You think IPOB will stop. You are dreaming. The worst part thing that will happen to Nigerians and somebody that uh, will be sworn in, whether you go to court to win or anything, is for somebody to come and occupy a seat where in a in seat of president of country, where an impostor, about three impostors have ruled the country. And uh, we, that is wholeheartedly they want to let them leave office. You want to let these people leave office with that image. Truly, Nigeria is a zoo. Everybody in my, say that it's the Nigeria. It's either you're a monkey or a baboon. You must choose one. Somebody say your president is dead. Instead of you, to confront the president immediately, they kidnapped the man and brought him here. When you see the first six amended camp charges against Nnamdi Kanu, you did not hear that he gave allegation that your president is dead. You are first protest would have you would have rise up and say, why is Attorney General not adding this allegation, tarnishing of the image of the country? Why is it not in the charges?
that you are all cowards. Today you want to fight in court against INEC when there are free roads to chase away cabals. But because it is connected to Namdekan and the IPOB, you choose to die. You think BVC will solve it. A very key to chase criminals. You will not even see Tunubu. He was involved. He's fully involved. Had you come in that way, it is better than answers. President, clear the image of this country. Clear the image of this country. You protest. Free us from bad image. Today, with a very good grand that Namdekano gave, should have been your stance that you choose PVC to fight in Namdekano. But he said, if discovered that Buhari is alive, I will, sub I will surrender Biafra. And I will submit myself, my life, self, for life jail. Then, is this not the best way to fight in Namdekano? By challenging Nigeria government to add it in the charges. So that Buhari will prove that he's alive. So that the American will surrender Biafra. But all of you choose PVC. In these guys that you love will be, is a lie. It was a direct war against the Namdekano. When there was a road he created for you to stop him, you refused. Very wicked entity. But we are here to stop you. I in Abaloni, he can do. He knows, so he will give. He knows. Some of you will off it. You don't want your child to hear it, to hear your stupidity. <laughs> you are listening to us. If your child comes, you go out. <laughs> you go out. Your child will say that this, thing, this man is saying is, is right. Is he true? Our president died. Right? You will not allow them to hear it. In our people, we are going to be here. He will be here. He goes here, come in. Allow them to listen to us. In a good comment, Mad people. Can you understand a country that has been ruled by impostors? The citizens left the fight they're supposed to fight. They are fighting PVC. Now that they want to hand over, you still have chance. Do you know what? Start it. Start inciting. Start inciting. On media, start it. Start it before you come out. You protest your mandate, protest the president to clear the image of the country. Start the campaign. Are you going to leave us in this image and hand over? That the imposter has ruled us. No, you cannot do it. You support to be to fight in Namdekan. You didn't love Obi. It was only New Nigeria was uh, through Obi. will stop agitation. That's what you think. No, even. See me again. Can you protest of our Yemen? Can you get even older? An umbrella here, ta, and here this week. A new Babian here, no lobby to be next week. There, when you're being here, I'll be here, when you're being here. I'll be a watcher. Eleven states, eleven weeks. There, he chanted, I'll be a take over his compound, go with I was. Or try it, but he'll be a the whole state, I'll be a bit, I'll be a here, no lawyer. It is done again. Tino Pitobi. Mad people. And when Kim Renate and the moon. Challenge your government. May 29. And then, again, you have a grant to chase both to look, both everybody out. You want Tino Pitobi to win. Then you chase them away. With the law for agitation. President. You have destroyed our image. The man that said it is here and they can challenge him. Let him prove that you are alive. And uh, you are dead. Or you yourself go and prove that you are alive. So that the world will not see us as fools. These are protests that Nigerians should start on their media, social media. Start kicking it out. Start inciting it. All of you have come back to your blog. If the P2B make a statement, you use it and do your comedy. You post it, you get 200 and something thousand viewers. Your money will be entering your account. Now, this P2B self is very strong. Eh? Hey, is he is he firing? MP is firing to. You want to 400,000 people to view it. 
David, your money will increase. And that is to say, I am supporting P2B when you are getting money. Do you, do you sell our pages? Uh, is it monetized? Fight a better fight. You want to help people. That thing you are doing cannot help you. Tell the government to prove that the president is alive before he leaves office. It will help people be from the other side. Not you being coward listening to what he said. Uh, Peter B will be, in, uh, 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 be interviewed. Let us go and listen. Or oh, God, challenge the people that you are, those that own that court. Challenge them. Your president is dead. We can say it in the presence of anybody. I can say it. What is my grant? The man who said it is here, and government did not challenge him. He that is silent agreed. When an American say you are dead, you kidnap him from Kenya to here. He's in your custody. You are in the opportunity to confront him. Not that time they say, he's outside saying it. You are in abroad saying it. If you come back here, you prove it. He is here now. Namdikan is ready to prove it. Can your government confront him? No. All of you are cowards. Yoruba, you now love people. Oh, yeah. Go and tell your Nigeria, let them open the open seaports here. You love people, you love our papa seaport. You love the shutting down of our uh, seaport. Abi, what kind of love is that? Hey, you're the man we are supporting. Hey, the whole body in Nigeria is supporting, is supporting people. Supporting people to return headquarters of his own to Bayesa. To return headquarters of Ajib to Cross River. To return headquarters of Mobile to Akwaibo. Or to return headquarters of, um, uh, 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 what is it called? Chevron to Delta. Or to return headquarters of um, AP to River State. Is that what you are supporting people to be? Get away. You support the political party and talk, you talk rubbish. How many Yoruba will stand in the House of Rep and vote that um, Calabar Seaport should be open? Iguacha Seaport, you call Potaka, should be open. And the uh, Warish Seaport should be open. How many of you? Then where is the Yoruba love? So you think Peter B will be president and he will open it? It is a game of voting. The North and the Yoruba, they will join together and vote against seaport. Because the Yoruba know that that is the only source of their survival. They will not vote for international airport because they want to make Muhammad airport so that the foreign embassies will be in their land. They don't want foreign embassy here. Because with international airport and seaport, there will be embassies here in our land. These are thieves. Love you for where? Love you. NTM, Abuja. Glow, Abuja. ATEM, Abuja. ATISALAT, Abuja. And our land is empty. So we don't have land. And you will not love you. You vote for P2B. You vote for P2B. You are killing us in Lagos. You tell us you not to vote. So your, the other one is Yoruba, APC. Your own Yoruba is different. But all of you, both Yoruba APC and the APC, PDP and the LOP, you love uh, Awolo, isn't it? Then how come you love Awolo when you love Ibo man? Awolo was stole our money and gave us 20 pounds. So the same way you love Awolo is the same way you love Nigerian Post PLC and Papa Wong. That's the same way you love Motla Mohamed Airport, Lagos. This, you cannot love Awolo when you not love uh, a Calabasi port. It's a lie. Because he's against it. It is one of his policies, after stealing our money. So those that are eyeing the properties of Biafrans in Lagos, they are children of Awolowo, because their father told them that he gave us 20 pounds, therefore we will not survive it. But to his children now see that we are surviving it, they turn to, they want to turn to tiger. They don't know that we have become lion, it. we are lions, it. So you're turning to, trying to, because you cannot turn to tiger. We know you are cowards. How can you never be tiger? You claim to be tiger, we know you are pussy. 
You are a pussy cat. You can never be a tiger. Talk, uh, talk more of lion. Show me a lion. A coward that Tojuku freed from detention. He turned around and joined the oppressors. Where can he give birth to lions? Or tiger? A wolf? A coward? A thief? Stole our money, stole our, and gave us 20 pounds. And you say his children is loving people. You are dreaming. Do you know the agreement? Huh? Shut down every. Don't you know that uh, these companies, um, they have a depot here before? BZ, UAC, Calbury, so many of them. Who took them? Yoruba people. It was part of the agreement. That's why they call us DOT. We are not DOT, geographical plan. DOT is under their political plan, political structure. They laid against us, they call it DOT. After banning, um, shutting down our airport, they denied us international uh, presence because no international presence here. Those you see here are the thieves that come to steal our oil. We call the enemies by their name. Our leader said they became a you are a thief. Two of us. Can you change your shoe or your suit without your fra oil? Three of us. <laughs> your reply, you love who I with them, you are a thief. Your I will stole our money. Can you defend it? You are all over that we freed from detention. You are all over that Nzogu wanted to make president. That you are all over. He stole our money and took our companies, gave it to a lot of idiots. Today they are managing directors. And the one idiot will, will come out and say, I'm going to take allowance. No, don't drag, don't drag it right there with me. Children of disgrace, your father stole our money, sold our company. You that are his grandchildren, you are targeting our shops and our houses. First of all, you burn down our shops. You seize our goods in the wharf. You demolish our houses and shops. The next one is, uh, leave Lagos. Leave. Do you have a shop? Where will you buy something to eat in Lagos? How many shops does Yoruba have? People that don't listen. How do your Lagos look like when we travel for X mass? So you don't do examination then because you are an idiot. So you never really watch Lagos or how it looks like when we travel village. Not all of us, so few. Then imagine when all of us leave. You will die. You will be looking. Hunger will kill you. You know you are lazy. If we are in the shop, you'll be in the field playing ball. Is that not true? I've, I've not been in Lagos. You'll be in tennis. Doing tennis. If we come back, you'll be eyeing us. You know in the morning we move. When we ask you, say you finish in unit banan. I finish in unit car. You knew you. But you'll be looking for a woman to work for. To be paying you salary. A woman that stopped in primary six. You went to you knew you. Unilab. Mad people. Thank you. <laughs> Facebook, you would have cut it off now. Uh, are you disgracing yourself? All those you in Lagos in Facebook, they are listening now. <laughs> so you want me to cook coconut rice for you? Enemies. To be petting you. So that you will not attack my brokers. You are dreaming. We are destructively stubborn. Very, very dangerous in mind. We don't have weapon. We push you, tell you where you fall. Your bus, we will push, we are pushing them now. And they will direct them where to fall. Those they are politicians, the cowardice politicians that Fulani have bought over. The one, the minister that the Tunubu promised Fane Kayode. That's what is jumping up. A chameleon. A chameleon. Tomorrow they make you minister. Thus making you. Not you win election. 
every time you become fool in making you. Can you can't you contest election? Let us see if you will love you. Faneka you contest now. You'll be looking for put appoint you. Hey, I, I, I don't have appointed me a minister. Hey, I was a, 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 a sports person. Mad idiot. He came closer to our leader to get to see if he can get some secret. You don't know that even Uche before did not get secret. He was frustrated. Talk more of funny, funny guy out there. The Jofa was doing better. He went. Hey, I went to see the Jofa and the Ghana lawyer. Thinking that we are politicians. If you come to us, we open, we open Nash. You see us. This is IPOB. We lock the door even for our mothers. Lock them outside because they don't belong. Even those that belong, they lock information, they lock you away from information. information. The information of IPOB is not for everybody. And it is for level by level. Your own who end here. The other man with own who, that is where the other one information started. Where the other one ends, that's where other people information started. That information you have in IPOB you think is the highest. That is the beginning of others. So that is why when some come, those people sent to get information of what IPOB is. The few they will get, they will use it to vote IPOB, thinking that is the end. After using that one, what about other one? We didn't let you know. You cannot use it to defeat us now. That's more one you knew. That one. In the case IPOB. You get to know for some time, and it's time we nudge. And when I get a job, we lock him outside. The guy him before. We lock him outside the gate. On our day, we go. Yeah, they look at it. I ask you, you know, you just don't even tell them. How can they now? They may be so dust, dust, so need, so need. What? So now, yeah, so need, be so now. I buy which of the four trees in the yard and a window in the chair. She told her, "Don't get it." What? So now, I go away so. We tend to so. Obi do Obi no. Or you move. Kawa, you can enjoy yourself with our command and control. Which is before a thief. He led us to Mbok under command and control. He led us to Igwacha, IPOB in solidarity with Donald Trump under command and control. He led us to on the High Bridge under command and control in the absence of Fundam Dekanu. After killing us, which is before saying, I am not obey command and control. God will punish you and your generation. So those you led to their death under command and control will now go and call them back and say, hey, forgive us, so we have stopped command and control. So we are sorry you died under command and control. Do you see how foolish people are? They don't even know we are in spiritual war. Now, I don't believe in command and control, but you, we have led people to die under command and control. Therefore, we are not going to leave it. Now you understand? <laughs> <laughs> now you understand why we are progressing. That an individual fallout from IPOB does ha not have any business to do with us. You go and rob, commit crime. It is not how IPOB does. It did not affect the water than white and water than snow of IPOB. That is your individual life. We didn't send you to such thing. What we call water the white is what we practice, our activities we carry on. We are not against anybody. Not the life you and your wife is living. One idiot to come and say, is it whiter than white? That is your personal life. For you. Have you not been living before you joined IPO? Do we come and ask you the game you make in your shop? Do we control your business? We control their IPOB activities towards their fraud restoration. Do we ask you where you went to the toilet? No, no. Anything you are carrying on, immediately your activities, private life will affect IP. People will call you and say, oh, that is life you are living. Somebody that is this position or that is not IPOB does not do this thing. You insist that we remove you. You can't enjoy your life. Even in freedom fighting, we practice the freedom. 
you don't agree with command and control, we give you freedom. Because command and control is like you are in jail. So you cannot sustain it. You want to be free, acting anyhow. Then we suspend you or we suspend you. Uh, sorry, we suspend you. Suspension is you subordination. I pay to the first warning, suspension. It's in a way how, a way how a boy is a guy is a free, say that he free. That is a spell. He didn't want to be free. And when I control, look, he did free, be in the game, that we believe begin. If at Nigeria done this to us, fine. Thank God I'm a friend of mine. They have to expel us. We are showing them sign. People don't like what IPOB is doing. We will expel you. You don't want to obey. We expel you. You go and fight for freedom. You get us Biafra in the morning. Then we stop. Because Biafra is not true. So you have a way to get Biafra more than IPOB. And your own is more better. And Biafra will come easy. We will expel you. Because we want Biafra to come. So if you get us Biafra in the morning, if we, if we call IPOB meeting, then Whatever you like, you do us. All of us will celebrate. But for you to come with your ideology and say you want to change our way is a lie, okay? There are people that died under that command. Therefore, that command remains. If you want us to drop command and control, go and wake the people that died under command and control. Or do you think they are foolish? <laughs> you yourself, you don't want command and control, but you use the picture of Igonzo. You use the picture of IPOB family members massacred by the Nigerian government to present to the world. Isn't it? You use it for your profile. You post it where we are agitating. They are, but you are a coward. This thing was achieved under command and control. Yeah, I am also pilot. You will use the picture. Of IPOB that protested. You never protested. And when people no gather, I want to present. Look at they are killing our people. They are killing IPOB during protest. Not you. Command and control. That's the picture you show to the world. That is the video you show to the world. We achieved it under command and control, not under cowardice, not under autopilot. Command and control. Both picture in the GIM na profile again. Both to be a flag. But any protest he get here, video ya, na be afraid land. A human on aga, it ain't a hana one. Command and control. A major achieve, whoever you see, it's also command and control. Can't see we panic. If you go back, I check out like I say, no top pilot. If you don't go command, do I control? Then, do you have sense? Hey, we are top pilot. Does autopilot have leader? Does autopilot have control? Does autopilot be advised? Does autopilot have an advisor? Do you have an organization? You don't need to have. But your own autopilot, somebody expels people in autopilot. Somebody suspends people in autopilot. Somebody organizes meeting in autopilot. Who told you? Autopilot means do as you like. Now you understand that they deceive you. They said we will not be taking order from anybody. Let us do it. Let us shake Nigeria. Small time they diverted you. They started giving you order. The same command and control because you are a fool. They deceived you. They deceived you as you expected. Because I hear the idea. And when you discover, you continued. You want to make it right today. When you discover it is deceived, you now say, let us arrange it. Let us be a freedom fight. I don't know about it. It is autopilot. Do as you like. Remember what they told you. Their first struggle have entered autopilot. Or say that we have formed autopilot. Their first struggle have entered autopilot. So those that entered autopilot, how come they arrange you somewhere? They started calling you. They started leading you. They started giving you order. They started suspending you. They suspending you. They started expelling you under command and control. But you said you not obey command and control. Are you a human being? 
Are you not an idiot? Do you see why we call you idiot? You are a fool. A stupid fool. Facebook, I want you to be showing me only one person, please. <laughs> we are very, very dangerous. We did not write it on a book. We keep talking. Ten hours, we talk. Five hours, we talk. Six hours, we talk. Others are broadcasting in their platforms. Others are on Radio Biafra. We will keep doing some on Twitter, some are posting. We will keep firing. We will keep firing. In all angles, and the legana in a good game could turn you was it. I am a very brave. Do we stop? No, a minute to restore Biaf, we still agitate. Even when Biafra come, will be on some who still in agitation. In a Siana Biafra, the Goyano chicken or Charlie Cage until they are confirmed what they are on the before you have to do the post here. That's how prepared we are. Oh, no, the good noise now, Apple. All the cowboys are in the free. Now, court, I have to go to the court. I appeal in the side. Go, can have a more quick clever now. Wrong now, so good to have happened. My camera and I did not give you something. One of the news come the full. Now, just in the next one, man, I have a record of course. They are going to disobey. But how am I here? Many some are now wrong because I'm a nine. I got quite deep up again. Now, yes, you can go. Cat, I move. Oh, look, I know. See, here, my name was. <laughs> Matt, yeah. Now I'm not to do a But for that, Maggie, I said, What is your hair doing? As God has free him. But you said we will not get victory in our enemy's court. How come you are tasking us after we have got that victory? You said we will not get. Is that not what you told us? To weaken us, to start to join you in killing our people. As if killing our people will free them, they can. You didn't kill the North, you didn't go to North. You didn't go to Yoruba land, you come to Biafra land, you are killing people. You kill on Mondays, you kill other days. Okay, 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 no law. Biafrans are only the victims of your hard man. No, not an for victim of your hard man. Only Biafra. If you come out, I shoot you. You never told a not an If you come out, I shoot you. Only Biafra. The same victim of Nigeria. You come to threaten them. Fools started clapping when they were killing Biafra. No, not enough for it. They live freely in our land and in their land. You turn around killing our people. If you come out, I kill you. I shoot you. You, you are dead. You are mad, baby. You are mad, baby. You are mad, You say, I know that you are from here. You are mad, baby. Hey, all the way. You are mad, baby. 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 Chineke gapu no oku. Thank you. I'm landing it up. May Chukwa Biyama continue to sustain all of you, protect you, provide for you. In all that you are doing, in all your movements, in all that you need, also favor you. So that his favor upon you will attract the favor of all, favor of all mankind. And they will favor you within and without. May Chukwu Abiyama continue to sustain Biafras. Favor Nam De Kano anywhere that his case is in. Favor him with your divine freedom. You have done so in court. You have favored him in court. You have been doing it in court. You have disgraced our enemies in court. But that very lasting joy we have been expecting, that's what we want to see now. Free Nam De Khan. You have defeated them in court. You have proved that you are our God in court. Nobody expected that we will secure victories in court. But you did it for us. The same way we know you will do this one. Is to do it. Merania Narekele na roti to ni hina ima nebu chini ge merania na hagi chi uku uki abia amana oro ime ihe nile. We have prayed. He said. He said. He said thank you. Hello. 
Thank you. From me, fearless IPB evangelist, Master Mada Chimachuku, and from here, our homeland radio, it is good evening.